What's up insiders? We're gonna talk about the advertiser friendly guidelines, one in particular. Now, last time we addressed the advertiser friendly content guidelines a couple of weeks ago, we discussed inappropriate language or profanity. And we got some really good feedback in the comments. We went through all of them and we have some changes that will be going live by the end of the month based on your feedback around where you need more clarity. Now this week, as I said, we're going to be talking about violence and it's helpful to take a step back and discuss how we structure the advertiser friendly content guidelines page, first of all. So you'll see that for most of the guidelines, we'll break it down by the self certification model. And the way in which that runs is you'll see the principal paragraph where we outline generally what we mean by, for example, violence, and then we'll move into three distinct categories. And those will correlate to an allow ads decision, a limited ads decision, and a no ads decision. And how you'll see those broken down is advertisers will be able to target this content some advertisers may be able to target this content but may not and then no advertisers may be able to target this content. What's important to note though is that the first paragraph within each of those sections is the language that you'll see in your upload flow in the questionnaire itself. Now beneath that is really where the secret sauce lies because we're trying to package neatly and comprehensively all of the top level policy violations or categories that you might come up against if you're uploading a piece of content which has a violent clip in it or is just based on violence in a certain context. But that self-certification language couldn't possibly be comprehensive because of the wonderful content that we see on YouTube. People find different ways of producing content. They find different content categories. Sometimes they create content categories. And as a platform, we have to be very responsive to those. But additionally, we know that you need real detail because for a lot of you, this is your business, your core business, and we wanna respect that. So all that said, if you look at the violence section, which is linked in the description below, within the advertiser-friendly content guidelines, you're gonna find that within each of those three self-certification sections, we break it down into more categories because we know that gaming and violence should be treated one way versus animal violence where one animal might be ripping apart the carcass of another animal versus hunting where we might see an animal be shot and struggle versus you know, tragic uh, real life death versus war and conflict. So if you look through each one of those three sections, you're gonna find seven categories broken down. We even go into animal abuse and how we tackle that. So all of this to say, we are continually working on the advertiser friendly guidelines. Me and my team are really committed to making sure that we provide really an industry leading breakdown of all of the different violations that you could come up against, all of the reasons why something might be a yellow icon, and critically, all of the ways in which you can avoid a yellow icon. Because the real value of this article and the guidance that we're building out is to provide you with an open book because we know too often when you're dealing with a platform of YouTube size, it can appear like it's a black box, but that's not the impression we want to leave you with. So I'll leave that guidance with you. You have the link in the description below, and I'll be reading through every single one of your comments uh, for the rest of this week and next to see if we can make sure that it is that industry leading resource that we want it to be. So that's it from me. Uh, make sure you leave a couple of comments below and I'll see you next week for our newsflash.